Good morning! Hi everyone, I'm Steph, I'm the Secret Slob, and I am hitting my house hard with a 21 day decluttering project, and it's the massive decluttering project. I am going through every, sorry, I'm rocking back and forth in my chair. I am going through every cluttery space in my house and doing just a huge spring clean purge, and it feels so good. So I am on day eight, eight? Day eight, this is so hard. I don't even know why I do the fingers. It's so hard for me. Day eight, and this is a big one. Um, we had a kind of an easy day yesterday with coats and boots, you know. I didn't have a lot of stuff to go through, so it was easy for me, but today I've got lots. And this is a big one. And what we're gonna do today is linen closets, towels, and basically all of your cloths and tea towels and cloths. So it's like cloths. <laughs> you call it cloth day or linens day. Um, the second thing I'm going to hit really quick is my medicine cabinet. And so for me, that's just a bucket or a little kind of Rubbermaid that I keep all my medicines in, but I'm going to go through that one really quick too. But first things first, a huge one is linens. So I'm talking blankets, sheets, um, couch blankets, towels, hand towels, face towels, um, all your rags, all your tea towels, um, cloths for the kitchen, you know, all the linens, all the cloths in your house. So you can do it two ways. Um, you can use the KonMari method where she goes around the house, grabs everything and piles it in one spot. Or you could, you know, go from room to room. I'm going to do the KonMari pile everything except for blankets because we don't have a lot of extra big blankets and they're mostly on everybody's beds. So the stuff that's on people's beds right now, I'm not going to declutter that because I know we're using them and anyways. But I'm going to pull everything out of the cupboards that, you know, are not being used currently and go through them. Getting rid of things that are ripped, old, stained, we just don't use, they're out of fashion, um, just anything I don't want. And when you declutter your stuff, you know what you're using, what you're not. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you have to keep and what you can't keep. You know, it's your house, it's your life, you know what you're using, and you know what you don't need in your life anymore. So when we do this declutter together, I'm picking the things that I need for my life, you pick the things you need to keep in your life. So I'm gonna run around my house really quick, grab all my linens, I'm gonna pile them here on the table, I thought that would be a good spot, nice and central. Then I'm gonna declutter them all, and then I will reallocate the stuff I wanna keep so that it's all in its proper home. Okay, so here are my tea towels and dish towels, and I've got my to go my bin to take stuff to the thrift store. If it's really gross, I'll just throw it out. But all right, so I'm just left with a little pile of the dish rags that I really like, and my tea towels that I really like, my placemats, a couple of cleaning cloths that I use. I use these little rags for cleaning up my kids' faces after meals. So I'm not gonna throw those away just yet because they're still little. And then a couple bibs, obviously I'll keep. And these loose socks I'll put up with our socks and hopefully find a pair for them. All right, so next I'm gonna grab my bath towels. And I'll bring them down here and then I can take them to the thrift store. This is what happens when you get married and you don't register. Everybody buys you towels and it's very nice. And they're very nice towels, but like, this is way too many towels for my family. <laughs> I swear, it looks like we're preparing for a flood. Doesn't matter. I'm sure somebody can use these lovely towels. So I'm gonna sort through them. I'm gonna pick out ones that I want in our master bathroom because I probably only need like six ones that I want in my kids' bathrooms, and then hand towels for down here, and hand towels for the bathrooms upstairs, and then face cloths. Whatever you need at your house is what you need, but I don't need 30 towels. And some of these towels that we don't like, like I know I don't like some of these towels. Try and go through them. I also don't really care if my towels match. I know for some people they have nice matching towels. I don't, and that's okay with me. That never really was a thing that I did. But it is nice to have nice towels that are, you know, good quality and they feel good. So. Oh, and we 
have the bathroom downstairs. I don't want to, okay, I want to make sure that there's towels for the bathroom downstairs too. Okay, six for my kids' bathrooms. Okay, so I have a basket here of towels that I don't need anymore. I have towels for everything I need. I'll keep my beach towels down here in the bathroom, I think. So now I have, oh, this one's brand new. This one is brand new. I have a brand new one here. Might as well keep that in good shape. Okay, so now I have hand towels for every bathroom. Face towels for every bathroom. That is gross. That is gross. There. Okay, so now I have my face towels and my hand towels all organized. Um, so I have four bathrooms. My bathroom, my kids' bathroom, the powder room down here, and then we have a bathroom in the basement that's like a guest bathroom that's not finished, but it will be soon. We're working on it. We do a lot of the construction in our house. So anyways, it's happening. And it will be done soon, so we'll need towels for that. So we've got towels for there and face towels and hand towels for there. And I think I'm all done with towels. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. And then I'm going to put all my <laughs> thrift store towels. Like, look, this thing's overflowing. Put all these into a bag so I can take it to the thrift store. Ooh, I have a diaper box. I have a diaper box. I'm put it in the diaper box. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, the last thing I grabbed was a few blankets and sheets that we don't use anymore. I didn't have a lot of extra blankets and sheets, so I just grabbed the ones we're not using. I'm going to give them to the thrift store or the shelter. I'm sure someone can use these. This one's handmade. We won it. It's like a king size afghan. Um, yeah, we won it in a draw, but we don't use it, so um, someone else can have, a, have it for their home. So. Taking these to the thrift store, and then I'm gonna grab my medicine box. Maybe you have a medicine cabinet. I'm gonna declutter that, and I'll be all done. So part one, all of our linens and towels and sheets and tea towels and all that stuff has been decluttered. It feels great. My drawer where I keep my cloths and tea towels was like overflowing, so it feels really good to get rid of some of that stuff. And as usual, it's stuff I'm probably never going to use again because I wasn't using it anyway. So I just kept this stuff I use all the time. And even though my drawer looks a bit sparse, I know that it's the same five cloths I was always using anyways. And I was always skipping over the bad ones. So the second thing I wanted to do today was tackle my medicine box. Or maybe you have a medicine cabinet or some people have a little chest. Or maybe you even have an old-fashioned doctor's bag. I don't know. I try to go through my medicine box fairly regularly just because, you know, things expire and some of the liquidy things like cold medication can start to leak and so you just want to check all the time. So I go through mine pretty regularly because it starts to build and it always smells a bit funky if I don't clean it out regularly. So I just like to go through and check the expiry dates on things so I know what I have and sometimes I, I see, oh, I need more band-aids or something like that. So I'm gonna quickly declutter that. The one thing I do know about medicines, old medicines, is not a good idea to throw them in the garbage. Take them to the pharmacy so they can be disposed of properly. I think it's something to do with super bugs or something. I mean, don't totally quote me, but I'm, I'm almost certain it's that you're supposed to take them to the pharmacy and not uh, throw them in the garbage. So if you have old prescriptions or old pills, just pack them up. I'm sure you could combine them and just bring them over to the pharmacy and they'll get rid of them properly. I think in England they call it a chemist or a druggist. Okay, so I went through all my stuff. Got a few things to throw away here. So I'll take those over to the pharmacy. They're just the ones that are um, still have some medicine in them and some of them are just empty bottles and I'll just recycle those. So I'm all done. So I got linens done today and I went through my medicine box or a medicine cabinet if you have a medicine cabinet. Feeling good. You guys, my house is starting to look really clean and I have lots of bags to take out of here. So it's feeling really good. Spring is coming. It's zero degrees here today, which for me is like super warm. I'll probably go outside later without a coat on <laughs> because for us here in spring, that's like beach weather. <laughs> I'm really excited. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you got something decluttered, maybe went through some of your tea towels or your dishcloths or your towels. Let me know how it's going for you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.